Okay, so I'm at the last stages of making my sugar beer bottle molds. And I decided to make a little tutorial before I ran out of my liquid latex. So I basically I took two bottles and I washed off the labels and I cleaned them and emptied them. And I had a wine cork and I wrapped it in plastic and put, put it in the top of the bottle. And then I bought this which is mold builder and it's liquid latex and it's available at michael's it costs like fourteen dollars but i had a forty percent off coupon so i got it for like eight bucks i bought two bottles of these well two containers for sixteen ounces because i wanted to make two molds to work faster so these have a couple of layers on them already um, I've been doing it for the past two days. It needs to be fairly thick so that it doesn't collapse on you. I've read about a couple people whose molds collapsed on them. So I think this has about maybe maybe 12, 15 layers of the liquid latex. The first time I did it, it was very translucent and I kind of panicked thinking that that's how it was going to come out and I was freaking out but you know now that I've had it all the layers I can see that it's fairly thick and it's it's dry now and it's squishy I put it on wax paper and I did an inch ring around the mold so that it, it'll just when it's completely dry I'm just going to peel it off the wax paper and slide it off the bottle mold and I'll be able to pour my sugar in there to make the beer bottle molds now I'm going to do another layer of liquid latex paint because I only have about one layer's worth left. So I decided to do that real quickly for you guys. So it's going to look awkward because I'm doing it left handed because no one's here to hold the camera for me. So I bought a little paintbrush and I'm basically just going to dip it in here. You see it's like almost empty and it needs only like a very thin coat super super thin doesn't have to be chunky at all I'm just gonna do one side to show you quickly and then I'll turn the camera off because it's very difficult to do this <laughs> with one hand so that's that's how thin you want it you're basically gonna be able to see through the coat and it's gonna dry and every layer is gonna be thicker and thicker I'm gonna post the link with the information on how to make these bottles and I'm going to do part two tomorrow, which is, you know, making the actual sugar bottles. So I hope this helps people who are visual like me and need to actually see stuff. Bye. Okay, I forgot to mention a couple of things. These are my bottles. I'm not going to touch them because they're very sticky with the last coat of liquid latex paint. Um, I have a fan here, which I know looks weird in my kitchen, but I've been plugging it in with every layer that I do. And I find it dries really, really fast. So if you're in a time crunch, find a little fan, put it on, and it'll speed dry your stuff. Or you can do a, a, a blow dryer on cool or maybe low heat. You don't want to, I guess, melt it off would be a thing, I guess. Um, this stuff really smells. It stinks. So do it in a well-ventilated area. And, you know, maybe cover your nose or just be prepared for the smell. And in between coats, make sure you wash your paintbrush. And before you put another coat on, make sure you make sure the layer is dry before you add another layer because then you just have a sticky mess. Okay, bye. Hi everyone. So it's the next day and my molds are completely dry. I can touch them and it doesn't stick at all. It's, it's very rubbery. So I'm going to take it off of the bottles now. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to... I'm going to use baby powder, whatever baby powder you have, and I'm going to kind of squeeze a little bit on it and lightly kind of dust it, I guess, so that it doesn't stick to itself because it's very sticky. And if I try to just unmold it like that, it will stick all over itself and it'll completely, it'll distort the shape. So now I'm just lightly brushing it with, you don't need that much, just enough, so that it's not so sticky. So, you know, just smooth some of it all the way around so it doesn't stick. Use a little bit more here at the base. Okay. 
Now, what I'm going to do is, I think I'll have to put the camera down because it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Where's the assistant when you need it? I'm joking, I don't have an assistant. So I guess I'll put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. I guess you can't really see what I'm doing. Well, I'm going to dust off the excess onto the other bottle. And I'm going to start to work down here. And try to peel it off. Well, this is not working. I'm going to peel it off and then write a message later. <laughs> or wait till someone can help me. Okay, so as you can see, I took off my mold from the bottle. Yay! It's, I, I'm, I'm glad I put so many layers because it's fairly sturdy and I didn't distort at all. So what I did was I cut with the scissors around the base to make it because if you can see some areas are lighter than the other so it's kind of hard to peel it all off because some areas are weaker so in this one I'm also going to cut around the base and then I'm going to peel the wax paper off the base and I'll come back and show you how I did that because I can't cut one handed <laughs> so here it is cut around the base it still has the wax on the other side so I'm going to flip it around and put it in a cup so I can have, you know, some stabilization there. And then I'm going to find an edge that seems like the wax paper will slide off on. Look, here's a little tear right here. Then I can just start tearing it. You basically do that all the way around. Some spots are easier than others. If you can manage to... F the other one came out actually better because I was able to grab a big chunk like this. Haha. <laughs> so you just tear it off. So next time I'm definitely going to ask my sister to help me. So keep just peeling it off all the way around. Okay, so I have all of the wax paper peeled off. It's kind of a rubbery feeling now. And um, you just slowly start pulling it off of the bottle. And it's going it's, to, since it's glass, it'll come fairly right off. And then you just start rolling it down like that. See how it's just rolling off? And really it's important that you use the baby powder because this will stick on itself. If you see it's, let me just take it off the cup, you just roll it down and it's important to use the baby powder because it'll just stick to itself all on the inside. Really important. And it's inside out. Here's your bottle with the little cork in there. And you just take, well, it's kind of wet in there, maybe I didn't, it's not completely dry in there. So, you just take a spoon and turn it and push it in until it starts to turn the right way. And if you don't do enough layers, this will collapse on you. So please, don't be stingy, put enough layers. You see how it's coming out over here? This is complicated. <laughs> you get the idea, okay? You just keep turning it out with the spoon until it pops out. It's hard to do this one-handed. Oops. So, there you go. There are our two molds and our two bottles. And I'll get ready to pour sugar into it later. Thank you. Bye.